afternoon again. This is Monday 14th of September. I'm pleased to be reading from my family Bible. A message at the front of it I read as well. A message from His Holiness Pius XII to readers of this Bible. In our ardent desire that a more widespread knowledge and love of the Holy Writ be promoted among the laity, we warmly welcome this new edition of a family Bible prepared for English-speaking Catholics. The pious readings of the sacred scriptures which the Catholic Church has ever proposed to her faithful children for their sanctification and instruction is a most fruitful source of spiritual blessings upon the home, serving as an antidote to the undermining influences that threaten on all sides the sacred citadel of the Christian family in the modern world. We extend to all an earnest invitation to partake of this heavenly food and to avail themselves of this gift from God which is an inexhaustible treasure where those who search will find what they so eagerly seek words of truth and comfort of strength and encouragement of solace and peace with the prayerful hope that the Holy Bible may have an honoured and rightful place in every home, we cordially invoke upon its readers an abundance of divine grace, celestial favour and enlightenment. From the Vatican, December 27th, 1955. Pious PP X11. And I will read the prayers at the front of the Bible before I begin. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful and kindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy Spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who didst instruct the hearts of thy faithful people by sending them the light of thy Holy Spirit. Grant us in the same Spirit to discern what is right and enjoy his comfort forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm going to continue with what I'm on on the dip today, which happens to be Proverbs 3 and 4. I'm now going to be doing the, um, the, the verses, the security given by wisdom, which are the verses 21 to 26. Proverbs chapter 3. My son, let not these things depart from thy eyes. Keep the law and counsel and there shall be life to thy soul, and grace to thy mouth. Then shalt thou walk confidently in thy way, and thy foot shall not stumble. If thou sleep, thou shalt not fear, thou shalt rest, and thy sleep shall be sweet. Be not afraid of sudden fear, nor of the power of the wicked falling upon thee. For the Lord will be at thy side, and will keep thy foot, that thou be not taken. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for listening. I just love reading this Bible. I always did. <laughs>